What's up, everyone? Welcome back to FNAF Wednesdays. So for today, oh, um, what is this? Um, hello? What are we, what are we supposed to, um, um, what's going on? Why is it fading out? What's everyone? Welcome. I guess we're gonna. It looks like we're playing something called Fred's Best Fright. Um, so yeah, this, so this game is a, a fan-made game that someone made. I guess is made by Garrett Tube. I don't know, but um, so but we're gonna go ahead and try this. I haven't seen any video of gameplay of this. I don't know what this game is all about. So we're gonna go ahead and um, what's this options? Uh, no, I'm not gonna bother. So before we begin, guys, do me a favor. Leave a like on this video. That would help me out so much. Leave a like on this video. That would help me out so much. Anyways, Fred Bay's Fright. Fun Frights Inc. has created another get great horror attraction. Now featuring real animatronics and props from old Fred Bear and Freddy's Dino, Dino, Dino locations. This location is even being, being inside of the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I don't know, I don't know what that sentence said. But anyways, night one guys, let's do this. Okay, I'm actually um, kind of scared a tiny bit, but also a little bit excited. Oh my, what is this? Hello and welcome to your new job at the spooky haunting place where animatronics are shoving in suits, etc. <sighs> Just kidding, those things are wired up and can't move around, like how they were fabled to back in the day. In fact, you're sitting in the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now. I see that. Zenith. The owners of this location <laughs> sold the property to Fun Freddy's and they were looking for a place to build their new attractions. Okay. So what a coincidence that the old pizza what place was here. What? Not perfect for an old creepy restaurant to be in this exact area. The land was very cheap too. I mean, the building was so messed up that they had to either destroy it or attempt to renovate it. Of course, they were going bankrupt, so they decided to try selling it, leading to where you currently are. Speaking of the building being in poor condition, we've had to work in renovating parts of it already. Almost everything is complete, but the power died shortly after we started renovating. We've resorted to using a generator, so uh, make sure you don't run out of generator energy. If you do, just try to find a flashlight or something. It's looking pretty what? spooky in there, so good luck with that. Oh man. Uh, oh Wait, yeah. What? I guess Until I seven a.m. Safety packet to you. Uh, all right. Welcome to Frederick's Fright, the latest and greatest horror attraction featuring actual relics from the original diners. Where mysteries about the events were tragic but not certain. Uh, in case of any sort of injury or harm inflicted by an animatronic occurs, Who are you? we are not to be held responsible as it is your own fault doing so. If the chance of a person has turned up missing or has a fatal event happened within our premises, the location of that event will be cleaned up after the attraction's running hours, blah blah blah, what a bunch of nonsense. I mean, I could understand injuries if someone was just plain old dumb with our equipment, but to die in our building? That's ridiculous. Our animatronics should be just fine. Uh, anyways, let's finish up on how you have to work the place. So to your left, you have a big old door thing from the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It's used to close off guests while they're playing the flashlight game next to your office. It makes a cool transition from when they leave the game and enter the office. And finally, to your right, you have a false vent that you can shut once the guests have to exit. Okay. You don't want them coming back through or something like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Alright, I'll leave you to it now. See you on the flip side. Uh, wait, uh, uh, what do you mean by flashlight? Like, like, how are you supposed to find a flashlight? I don't see a flashlight anywhere. I guess I don't I don't know what he's talking about, but okay. It's 2 a.m. We're doing well. I don't know what that sound is. Hello. Um. What is going on here? Let's. What was that shut to 7 a.m.? Thank you. Please go on. What does it mean? It's by 7 a.m. Makes no sense. Hmm. What? Hold on. Do you see that little door that's shut? What is that supposed to mean? Wait, why are there X's over here? It makes no sense. Uh -oh. Hi! Wait, wh who are you? Are you, who are you? Are you Sprint Bonnie or who left? Where, where, where did he go to be honest with you, with me? Where did he go? I'm gonna shut this door. I'm gonna sh uh, I don't know. 
Hi, who are you? Fuck, freaking man, come on. Frick. Oh gosh, where are you? Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Shut the door, shut the door. Hi, who are you? Why does it, why does it have an X there? Why is it? You work so creepy. Doing? Who are you? I'm gonna have to assume you're a Spring Bonnie. But what is this? Why is does that mean that I that I can't shut the door or what? Like, like that makes that makes, like, that makes no sense. So can you like move, please, or are you just gonna stand out there? You know, you know. Look, I can completely understand. Did you leave? Did you leave? Where'd you, where you at now? Did you leave? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I will not deal with this nonsense. Where are you on the cameras? I don't see you. This is very creepy. Where'd you go? I don't... I don't trust where he went. The both doors are shut, sucker. Where'd you go? Where's he anyways? This is so creepy. I don't know where he went. But I wanna win, so. Whoa! Hi! Who are you? Nice to see you. It's really not. Hello? <laughs> okay, um... Okay, oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, this is insane. Wow, night? Wow. Okay, okay. So next next time, I will not shut both doors. See, I, see, I didn't know where he was. He wasn't anywhere. I don't know what happened. So, okay, now I'll be aware of that one. Where he went, though. Hello, and welcome to your new job at the spooky haunting place where you're in the trunks, where we're in the shoving suits, etc. This kid, these things are wired up again. I don't need to see your call. Okay, um. Oh boy, I don't understand though. I don't know, like, okay, so now I know what he means by flashlight, but. But, like, why is that door shut? Like, that, like that's not weird? You take a look at, like, look at that. Like, look at that, look at that's creepy. Like, I don't know what he's talking Oh, wait, is that, is that a suit? Oh, uh, caution, wet paint. Oh, that's what that says. It says on the top, it says over here, like, it says caution wet paint above the suits. Something like yellow, something like that. This is so creepy, man. Man, this game is pretty creepy, I have to honestly I have to say. Eighty-six percent we got okay. Normally around eighty six percent we always turn it always turns to one AM. Depending on what you have shut. This game is quite nice, actually. I like this fan game. It's nice. Okay, though. But man, but then man, that jump scare was <sighs> quite scary. If you ask me. But who are you? You don't didn't say your name. I wonder why it says. Oh, oh hi. Um, 
Are you gone? Don't tell me you're gone. Hello? Um, I wonder what I still want to wonder what, wonder what that says camera offline until 7 a.m. Like, I mean, like, like, there might not be. I mean, is it like a 7 a.m.? Is it like a 7 a.m.? Or like, before you win or what? Like, like, that makes no sense to me. Fredbear's Fright. Oh, look at this. It's awesome. That looks like a little spring trap, to be honest with you. Oh. What does this X mean? That X mean? Is that where they go? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, I guess that makes sense. If they, if that's where they go. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, yeah I guess that makes quite sense. But I don't know exactly. But I lost was my guess. I, I don't know exactly. Look at, look at all these little cute little things, puppets. They look adorable. But what's not adorable is um, you know. Dying by these creepy little ones, by these creepy things. Sure, these things are little quite, quite kind of cute, but um, like dying most million times is not cute at all. Okay, what is this even for? Is it like can I call nine one one? It's like help me, please, get me out of this place. Oh, but okay. I don't see anything. Yeah, we're doing quite well actually. Um, there's no, so there's no animatronics. I'm almost at half battery. I, I am right now. So stop doing that. Okay, let's see. There's a toy chica right here. This is so creepy, though, guys. You guys don't even know. We're still there. Gosh darn it, where'd you go this time? I don't know where you are. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut this door then, if, if you don't mind. <laughs> you are, she is right there. He is right there, whatever. Um, can you like go away or something? Like, like I mean, seriously, like, I don't know why you're there. But this is Fred Bear, so obviously this is Fred Bonnie. Has to be. Like, like, like there's no other way, it has to be. Can you leave, please, or what are you gonna do? Like, like I don't know what you're going to do, so please move. You're legit. You're one. Of, you're legit scary. So like, you really are. Hello? What happened? Come on. What are you trying to do? Why are you still there? Hi. I don't know what that means. Hi. Okay. Um. You're in the bed, probably. Oh my, that scared me. I mean, where else would you be? What just happened? Um, okay? What are you doing? Okay, I don't want to open the door. Oh. I did it! Yay! Oh my goodness. <sighs> um, what's going on? Did, did I win? Oh, 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 hi, what's going on? Press S to sin? Okay, I'm pressing S. I'm, I'm literally pressing S. That's, that's why it's like flashing. Um. Oh, the purple guy! You got the purple guy? Show number one is now over. Okay, what? Okay, I guess we're gonna, so we're gonna try night two. Hopefully this will be a little better. <laughs> Hopefully we can do this without dying, which that would never happen, but you know, we'll try anyways.
And then maybe we'll, if we do die, oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see, let's see what you have to say. Hello, oh, hey. Welcome back to Frederick's <laughs> Oh, hey. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable now. No, I'm not. Okay, so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now. Who? Along with a few others oh, having some movement now. I think that's pretty cool. No, it's so? not. Okay, time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? You can yes. use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. So what does it do? Okay. You have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction and make sure that no one goes into the attic or somewhere that shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on Prototype. It seems to move a bit at random times, so just look at it. Who is Prototype? Sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky when you enter a certain code. All this stuff should be complete in nearly a week. So if something what? doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, there's no things sense. to be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority over the next couple of days. Alright, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night. What just happened? Who oh, hi! What just happened? I'm gonna shut this door. I'm gonna shut both doors. I don't know. Oh, I don't know where, where you're coming from. Oh. Um, um, what's going on? Hi, what do you want? I'm not gonna stare at you. I'm not gonna stare. I'm not gonna stare at you. What do you want? Hi, who are you? Where'd you go? I'm I'm really scared. Where'd you go? Um, where'd you go? Where are you? I don't know where you are. Um, did you did you leave or? Where are you? I don't know where he is, guys. This is freaking creepy. I feel like I shouldn't. Show <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Fudge, I'm sorry. Make sure your volume's turned down for this. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, so I don't know how long the video was, but that was Fred Bear's Fright. Oh my gosh, man. That was insane. I don't know. Like, like that. Like, this is actually a great game, but, um,. How long is the video? I'm actually gonna go check out how long it is. You know what? That will do for a video, actually. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this FNAF Wednesdays. It was actually a very scary one for me. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, so if you want to see more Nintendo and Sega content, or maybe more, um, Five Minutes of Phrase, um, fan games, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, um, I will see you all in the next video. Be simple, Mario Masters.